So the contrast is one paradigm says empty calories, the other contrast says every single nutrient in the body affects the hormonal milieu differently. And we knew this by 1916. And what's interesting is that German and Austrians had a theory. The Germans and Austrians did the best medical science in the world. They did the best science in the world pre-World War II. Okay? I mean, all of you would know the names of the great physicists. This, whatever field you studied, I'm sure names like Einstein and Schrodinger and Heisenberg are not strange names to you. And the medicine was just as good pre-World War II. And in fact, America was backwater in most fields of medicine and in fact in physics too. And until the Second World War, the Germans had come to conclude that obesity was a hormonal metabolic defect. And what you're looking at here, Julius Bauer was a famous geneticist and endocrinologist at the University of Vienna, which was one of the great universities in the world. In 1938, he emigrated to the U.S., and he wrote a paper about obesity as a hormonal metabolic defect, and he made fun of this naive energy balance idea, which was pushed by a guy named Louis Newberg, who was at the University of Michigan, who was lean, and Lewis wrote two papers in response. Okay, this was an early version of like bloggers yelling at each other on the TV or the internet. Bauer's paper was cited 10 times by 1959 and then never again until my book came out. And Bauer, if you have friends at the University of Vienna and they're in medicine, ask them if they knew who Julius Bauer was and they will probably say yes. Newberg's papers continued to get cited until basically by the late 70s you didn't have to cite a paper to defend the fact that obesity was caused by more energy in than energy out. Nothing happened to test this hypothesis that did not confirm Bauer's viewpoint. And yet for reasons among others we didn't like Germans and Austrians in the post-war period. Bauer, Newberg's papers were longer and came after. This is a paradigm, you're watching a paradigm die right here. And that paradigm was a biological paradigm that explained obesity. And you're watching a physics view, calories in, calories out, that can't explain anything. It's a description of what happens when people get fat. It's not an explanation. And this is what we've believed ever since. Okay, so the, here's the issue. 100 calories of sugar, 100 calories of glucose, 100 calories of fat or protein are all metabolized differently. They have dramatically different effects in the short term on these hormones and enzymes that determine how we use fuels, whether we store them or use them to rebuild muscles or use them for fuel. And all we need are tiny infinitesimal effects that accumulate over. If you store 20 calories a day in fat tissue that you don't burn, if I eat 150 calories a day of food, 150 bites a day of food, I'm a big guy, and I burn off 149 of them and the 150th gets trapped in my fat tissue, I am going to become obese. It's two pounds of fat a year, 20 pounds a decade. A tiny, subtle, unmeasurable effect, easily accomplished by shifting a little bit the hormonal milieu of the fat cell.